Hi guys, welcome to another Lions War video and this is going to be a pretty insane war video. We're going to have so many fights, it's going to be a little bit long, but we're gonna have for 4 star void against rank 5 Medusa and Buffet Not. We're going to have Iron Man Infinity War Not 28, 38. We're gonna have Magic, we're gonna have also main Medusa boss with Captain America Infinity War. So it's going to be a very very interesting war for my champions, for me. Uh, I'm testing different champions, playing with different champions. This fight I took leaked and I regret it immediately. Just pay attention. She managed to clip me somehow with her SP1. And I'm speeding this specific fight uh, up because it's very very long and boring fight. There is nothing interesting here, nothing educational here except only one thing. Just pay attention to my health. So I take it, took it linked because this power lock one uh, buff it just helps me. And another great thing with Mystic Dispersion, I just can notify almost everything. And pay attention, I reached the two bar of power. It just it's insane, it's pretty insane. So, this is two things that uh, I wanted to mention this specific fight. One, if you lost some health on this fight, you can gain it back if you have willpower with this power lock 1. And if you have Mystic Dispersion and you can nullify all those buffs, you can gain more than one bar of power. So, it, uh, it's not really power lock bar. Uh, I'm not sure Kaban is going to fix it, but this fight. Honestly, during this fight, I was so, so stressed because my only enemy this fight was this timer above. So, less than a minute left and she got tons of health. I think it's a rank 4 uh, Gwenpool. So, uh, her health pool is pretty insane and I really don't care about anything else. Just not time out because losing fight, time out fight in this important war is just... <sighs> Not something that I want to do, but you know, 4%, 18 seconds, and she's down. Very, very long and boring fight, but guys, we have so many interesting fights. While you're watching, guys, I want to follow, invite you to follow me on my Twitter account. It's about Marvel Concept of Champions, but I'm taking a more uh, sarcastic, funny aspect of the game with a lot of memes and a lot of stuff around the game. The funny one, I hope it's funny. Uh, the link in the description below and also here, just watch the page, follow if you like it, and we are moving on, and this is this is a pretty easy fight, it's just diversity node, and this is going to be just Psylocke, and I'm having fun with Ka Captain America Infinity War, I'm still practicing with him, still learning the best way to utilize him, because one, one of his disadvantages is you need to get some block hits, and here again the style that the opponents can parry your specials just after 3 hits. She parried my SP2, but you know, it's probably me, it's always me. And you know, with Cap, I love this guy, he's going to have probably going to be my next rank 5 champion, but I'm going to talk about it on a different video. So nothing special here, I'm still trying to build my SP2, going to do some serious damage soon. And you know, this is a nice and easy fight. Let's just also finish the fight with SP3, it's pretty cool SP3 animation and you know, have some charges, have fury and let's go. Let's hit some Psylocke, boom, and she's down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to, I think, the most crucial fight in this war. It's, it's, I think it's even scarier than the main boss fight, because this is rank 5, 38,000 PI ranked Medusa, and I only have 4 star void. And I already did my first mistake here, that I used so many different boosts, I just boost like crazy, and honestly, for Buffet Nut, all you need is just a health boost, because 4 star void is helpful, is really low, so you can take a lot of block damage, and this fury is just nothing, because he can't do anything to this Medusa, I'm going to use Buffet Nut to my advantage, the debuffs, so let's start, I'm using also with Power Bar 1, 
just to apply debuff as fast as possible and here's a quick tips for this specific now because for not 24 it's a little bit different strategy here so my suggestion is to don't panic take your time if she has her three furies parrier do heavy attack especially with void his heavy is a very long distance he can push opponent far away from the screen and this way you will keep yourself uh, away from corner and another thing with void it's also rng and you see here there is a bug with Medusa that Kabam uh, didn't fix. She removed my Petrified Debuff. I activate the Living Trance and the Petrified Debuff was removed with her Fury, so only one Fury left. And this is pretty insane bug, but from what I saw, the new release notes, Kabam is going to fix it. I hope they are going to fix it. I will duel her just to see. If it's really fixed, so I have two petrified debuffs, I have everything, so now Fear of the Void I will have in a second. And it's time to trigger Buffet. And let's see, let's see. So again, Evis. Just one hit. And I'm not running Max uh, Despair, so with Max Despair it's even easier if you're like war, if you're using Void. There is a specific set of masters, I think Brian Grant was talking about them, that can make Void a pretty insane for the Lions War, but Void is not my main champion, so here I'm in a good shape. Yeah, she has 40% health, I have a minute, and soon I will have another debuff on her, and I will activate my Fear of the Void again, and she loses more health. The fight is going pretty well, but still it's 20% health and 45 seconds left. This is scary mode. This is a very scary mode because time out against her, it's almost starting everything from beginning and this is not something that you want. So I'm just praying for her in Jesus. Come on, give me some petrified debuffs and nope, no petrified debuffs here. And I'm like, come on, come on, some petrified debuffs. Oh, and here is the first one. And let's see, let's evade it. And let's finish the fight. And boom, rank 5, 38,000 PI. Uh, uh, my lovely queen, she's down. And this fight is, I know it's Iron Man Infinity War. And I decided, you know what, I will try with Cap, Captain America. Let's see how it works. And honestly, I did a huge mistake at the beginning of the fight. I should have been more aggressive. I was too passive and he he will gain his aggression armors and one he will get four, that's it. So I thought with Cap, you know, he caught me also with his SP1. Also running this uh, fight much faster because it's also a boring fight. But I thought with Cap, I can just hold by Furious and do a lot of heavy damage. But nope, it was a mistake. This mistake of course will cost me a uh, timeout death and also some items for uh, Medusa boss fight but I really wanted to test it and again when I watched this fight I knew I could, could make it better. I knew I could just uh, be more aggressive at the beginning to prevent his aggression armors, maybe reach SP1 but you know, it's also another thing that I could do. Uh, Captain SP1 is is reducing accuracy ability by 100%, so I could hit with SP1 and prevent auto block. But this is a great thing about recording videos. You can watch them later and learn from them and learn from the mistakes that you are doing because I'm not a perfect player and I never say that I'm the best player in Marvel Contest of Champion. But I do like to play with different champions, I do like to learn, to learn, I watch a lot of war videos just to try and see how I can play with different champions and how I can get most from the game and it's, it's nice not to be in, let's say, Master Alliance where you can't practice and you can't try different things because, you know, if you die, it's game over for you. So, almost 2 minutes of fight and I barely took a health from him, even less than 50% and at this moment I'm like, okay, so, no, if I need to time out, what can I say, I'm going to time out, I hope with Medusa boss I can clear her and just 
redeem myself from this uh, death. And time out. But now, ladies and gentlemen, guess who is coming to here? And no, it's not going to be Void. It's going to be Dr. Voodoo. And just pay attention to this lovely dog. I'm also hitting him while he's holding block, and the reason for it is because I do, and here I had lucky with this, I do want to convert all the armors to poison, so this node also if you hit the uh, true block, I don't remember the name of the node, he will gain armor 5 hits, uh, this will just make your life miserable, so <laughs> it will reduce 20% of the health, and here the poisons just taking away the health, and I've used odd combo and pay attention, no auto block because odd combo has 50% to reduce accuracy ability and also increasing the debuffs by 100% so just pay attention to how slowly he's dying. He managed to clip me here at the end, again it's happened some, from some time to time but oh, Dr. Voodoo, my precious. And we're moving on to the next fight, so here I was very scared about this one because if it was Mephesto it would be more issues but it's magic and you know let's go with this beautiful voodoo and what honestly I want to do is put an outcome on her and I'm not sure I need to read next time the node I think it's a uh, specific node when you have only 20% chance to modify so it's 20% chance to apply debuff or convert loss and even less chance with odd combo but I'm trying to prevent limbo because this is basically uh, what will kill me at <laughs> this fight. <laughs> with Mystic Dispersion changes, oh man it's so nice, so nice just not to be worried about her SP3 and evade as much as you can and everything just works smoothly. I'm not afraid of losing health because Dr. Wood did his part this war. I had also a goblin miniboss fight, just part of the fight. Mm, I just finished him so I didn't record it. But it's a little bit also a longer fight but just wait guys, wait. We have also a Medusa boss fight and from this fight I also learned a lot about Captain America Infinity War and the way I should play him. And I hope while you're watching my videos I hope it's not only to entertain you because I'm really trying to entertain but also to educate a little bit just to show you different ways how to fight opponents and not and also without having you know star blade ghost rider trilogy you can do it with different champions and throughout the season I took different paths very very <laughs> different paths so now we're moving on guys to the main boss fight and this one rank 4 Medusa and I'm like okay let's use some potions here I did a mistake when Infinity War uh, Iron Man Infinity War so it's time to pay and I'm also you know what let's use some small boost let's just use an attack boost I'm keeping my 20% attack boost maybe for legend run and I'm going to use also 200% a science boost and I'm not sure it worked this fight, but I have also one expiring. And also let's use an attack boost. So this is my boost, and again with void fight I could only use a health boost and that's it. I'm making sure that I'm recording. And let's go. So my strategy is here is just attack her intercept her when I can't, and when she has her furies, uh, do a heavy intercept. It also will give me kinetic charges. Here and you see I'm not afraid to intercept her. I don't know with Cap I feel more <laughs> secured while intercepting. And now come on. And he's heavy also pushing uh, pushing her far away from the screen and my goal is to have here and here I did a mistake too late just she took so much health. And I'm activate my SP2 it did very low damage with 5 kinetic charges and fury and maybe because of the energy resistance maybe I should have waited for energy resistance to expire but I was surprised well, when I saw this and I'm continuing come on no furies let's just attack through air. 
some intercepts and I I'm really enjoying to play with Captain America Infinity War and again while watching this fight I think I could do things better I think my intercept uh, heavy intercept wasn't in place so I, I could wait a little bit here uh, just to practice more uh, and also just build my specials more kinetic uh, charges and heavies maybe you know activate heavy and admit heavy to uh, activate my sp2 with captain it's possible so there are some things I could have done better this fight and a spoiler alert I won't solo her but I also won't die to her and I think next war I will be able to solo her I have an idea how to do it and I'm not going to boost like crazy at this moment we knew we were going to win this war so it was a pretty intense war I must say our opponents especially in battle group 2 just cleared it wow with no issues just wow it was uh, very impressive so 46 seconds left and you know I don't want to take more block damage and you know, activate my SP2 just before uh, the Furies. And it went not so bad. I'm pretty sure that I think it's possible. If you guys have a suggestions for this specific fight, how we should act, comment below. It's very important to me. I always uh, loving to learn more new stuff about how to fight opponents. It's 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 always a great thing to learn from others and <laughs> so close so close and they're running <laughs> at each other so I managed to take a very good portion from my health I took voodoo this is not a perfect fight because at this point I was like let's have some fun let's just have fun with her and this war it was very very fun war very very intense war because as I said our opponents the first part of the war was were pretty amazing and did a lot of just clearing, uh, just insanely clear battle group clearing. But uh, and they finally, in the, the end, we managed to play much better and we won this war. And this season is, uh, is we we are getting very well this season. We improved much from previous season, and I'm happy that all the pilots. Uh, <laughs> Just got punished by Kabam finally, but it's for a short time probably. If you like this video guys, click here to subscribe, like, share and see you soon in my next video. And follow me on my Twitter account.